What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome to the word. Once again, over to my right, that is Filthy Smalls. What's up? Holding it down in the middle, that's Robbie D. You know? I am your host, C-O-D-Y. And as always, we are sponsored by Soundcheck. Soundcheck, helping helping Denver bands and musicians practice their passion since 2014. Soundcheckdenver.com. Each episode, we lead off with the weekly highlight. This week, we're doing it big with the Haters Club. And for the late night deep cut, we found a serious deep cut. So you're you're definitely going to want to stick around for that. But let's get right into it with our weekly highlight. This week, we're rolling in with some of the latest from Roddy Rich. This is 25 million. Was that a, like a Spanish guitar right there? Yeah. That's, that's dope. I got okay. a 50 on me, but I told her I keep it 100. Since I was a little nigga, I just about to go give me some money. Since I made up 25 million on one of them days. This is the come up for Roddy Rich, right? That's what's up. Hey, that's the type of business it would be if uh, Cody was a big boss. Yeah, we've been running through ideas like this for years. <laughs> we need a legit business, but we need constant booty shaking the whole time. You're gonna get me fucking divorced. That's... We put that in the office, bro. Like, fuck. Is he gotta pay the price. You're gonna have to recast me and Filthy. But he's not the boss, though. I don't think in the video. Hey, his name was on on the front. Roddy and Associates. Oh, so he's definitely the boss. Hey, in 30 years, this is probably gonna be a late night deep cut. Huh? Oh yeah. When we're, when we're doing our, we're still doing this show in 2035. We're gonna revisit this. Roddy Rich is a deep cut. Word. <laughs> Hey, they just do a good job on the video, though. Shoot. Yeah, it's pretty clean, pretty sleek. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, I have to do an um, autotune song. Old school Lincoln right there, bro. Yeah, that's the clean old interior, bro. Dang, I want a boat, but I don't know about having that big of a boat. Shit, that was, oh, that was fucking a yacht. That's a yacht, buddy. Hey, hopefully it's not too much windy. You could mess up his haircut. Gonna wave. She's all pocketing some of them hundreds. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't, didn't pay me that much. I'm feeling this one now. All right, we're gonna get filthy on some auto tune. One of these, this next track. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yacht's like as big as all three of our houses combined. Yeah, yeah. You, you could drop my whole apartment right on that deck. <laughs> Facts. Since I was a little nigga, I just about to go give me some money. Since I made up 25 million. You be getting it in though. I think top to bottom, the flow, the look, everything on this is working. He did definitely spend some money on the video. So does this, does this go with last episode's new artist? I think the so. new school Roddy Rich is definitely in that new school category. He's he's a heavy hitter these days. Oh, that's dope. I do like that um guitar, bro. Hey guys, that's dope. That's give it, dope. Give it the stamp. Hey. Gave it. That's dope. Give it the stamp. The that's dope stamp. 
All right, that's Roddy Rich, twenty-five million. That might have been their budget for that video. Probably that's, close to it. That's oh. that's some good shit right there. It's way bigger budget than we got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 I can't even spend twenty-five hundred, bro. <laughs> I can't even spend twenty-five bucks. <laughs> that's hurting the pocket. Yeah, the, the, the Roddy Rich and Associates. If if you. We're always looking for interns at the word. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and sponsorships. Today we're drinking the Ziggy's coffee. That's just fire, bro. Shout out to Ziggy's across yes. the street. Yeah, it's really close, so yeah. yeah. Sponsor me, please, man. So we're we're begging for sponsors and looking for interns. But Roddy and Associates, if that law firm, I mean, that looks like a fun place to work, don't you think? Yeah, but I don't know how much work would be getting done. Though. I mean, a lot Rod, of distractions. That that stuck out though. Roddy was pretty focused on that but like, he's the only yeah. one he needs to hire some better employees <laughs> yeah them fools are just fucking throwing dollars like it's nothing like what the fuck maybe he's a pimp though so he gets the dollars i guess huh? yeah roddy was keeping his head down he's focusing on the grind 25 you know? mil because he's one's g- definitely got the dope stamp though that one yeah he, and then he goes oh. to, home to the yacht at the end of the day enjoys the sunset just just soaks it all in on his yacht on his yacht not a boat i'm sorry to correct you on that but <laughs> well one day i'm gonna have a boat at least <laughs> this, this is, so the, the, it's just this is a revisit to episode one when robbie d called rose rose or however you said it but yeah i don't remember either we're, we're gonna step our game up with we're we're gonna you know Stop being imposters with all this stuff. We're going to get ourselves onto these yachts so we yeah. can actually, you know. We're going to do the word one day on the yacht. We're going to up our credibility is what I'm saying. That's what we're going to do here on the word. Speaking of credibility, fuck all that <laughs> shit. Fuck everybody. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, what? to the Haters Club. Yeah. Damn. So this week for the Haters Club, we're going to rewind – we're a couple weeks into the new year, but we're going to look back a little bit into the last year, 2021, towards the end of the year. Kanye West and Drake went ahead and they did this special benefit concert. They put it on Amazon Prime for streaming, and it was a, it was a concert to raise awareness or free or the, – the whole thing was free Larry Hoover – but Larry Hoover, to my knowledge, you know, here in January 2022, he's still locked up. So, I, you know, the right they off the bat. Free him. They didn't free him. Right off the bat, motherfuckers, you did not free Larry Hoover. <laughs> not even like, close. What the fuck, man? Like, that was the whole whatever. Drake, Kanye, they're typically about themselves. We know that. We know pretty that. Pretty much. Fact. Pretty much. So, just let's, let's skip the Larry Hoover thing. Shout out to Larry Hoover. Free Larry Hoover. Hopefully someday he sees sees the outside. But we are going to hone in on a couple of key key moments from that Kanye West featuring Drake. And I use that lightly, and you'll see why in a moment. But we are going to chop it up, look back at some of this Kanye West concert with Drake. So let's let's just roll out. We're going to start a little bit in. This is 20 minutes in. And we're gonna. I'm gonna tell you why we skipped the first 20 minutes in a moment. Uh, here we go. So it's 20 minutes of this. So the first 20 minutes was an a cappella choir. Just a choir. That's it. Like, I would have left in like the first five minutes, bro. This is the LA Coliseum. You know, the big time, you know, you, you don't do stadiums in LA unless you're some big timers like Kanye West and Drake. But to bring them in and torture them with a choir for 20 minutes to start your set, I think that just seems a little harsh. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of these two, so I wouldn't even have been there, but that's definitely fucked up. No. We're 20 minutes in. 20 minutes in. And they're ba- have- but they're barely walking in. What were they doing for 20 minutes? <laughs> that's I a lot of steps. No too. words. 
That's a lot of steps in the Coliseum. No words. No words. Like, not even in a hurry either. Yeah, guys, time is money. Time is money. We ain't got all night here. I feel like Drake Drake took my idea. He got the gloves on, man. Oh, the motherfucker. Hey, thanks for watching too. The Word, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Stolen from The Word. He probably heard that we were talking about his cousin, Mighty Casey, you know? They're walking down the thing like they're a fighting couple. Like, they're married and they're fighting. Yeah, they're <laughs> Donald Trump, Melania Trump type shit. That's well, what he, it looks like. I think that he's still a little bit sad over his divorce, Robbie D. Yeah. Uh, we'll get to that. Like I said, some key moments in this stuck out when watching it. To the progress toward. Say to them. So, key element here. This is the haters club with the word. Hater, hater, hater. <laughs> but after watching this, I think really Kanye West is Drake's biggest hater. He won't even let him on the path. So you walk <laughs> off to the side, bitch. You, you walk over that light. Step in the, you can't, no, you walk behind me or you're off to the side. You are not getting on my path. So he, doesn't, he doesn't even go up the little UFO. Right, yeah. You go and do your thing, Drake. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this stage for an hour. This hour is mine. I'll give you a little bit of love at the end, but no, you go fuck off for a little bit. Oh, what kind of like stage is that? Like a dome stage? Flying sauce? It's on fire. <laughs> Flying sauce is on fire. Hey. <laughs> I'm not saying Kanye's on fire. I'm saying the flying saucer's on fire. Hey, I think they're going overboard with this smoke, bro. That is a lot of smoke. Yeah, they're gonna. They're going to have to keep an eye on their levels there. See, it looks cool there. It looks cool there. But I'll, I'll, hold on a second. Hey, what is that shirt, though? The flame. They are on fire. He, he's telling, also, he's telling sound in the back. The flame. <laughs> Get the flame. <laughs> and, and he should have called that out earlier because they are just getting completely swallowed up by smoke here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck, you guys are putting too much on it. Everybody left with respiratory problems. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it, it, Man, where did he go, bro? Like, you can't even see him. Where's, Hello, make some noise. Like, you, <laughs> you hear a bunch of coughing sounds. Let's get right. Make some noise. <laughs> Let's get right. They got the vid. Let's get right. Let's get, Let's get no. right. I have no... Let's nobody get, could see him at this point. He ain't getting right. <laughs> <laughs> Is he fucking not even singing? So he just starts it out by walking around stage. And yeah, moving. So, that's another. Th so like, where are we? We're 25 minutes into the set, and Kanye has said like eight <laughs> words. Like, how do you treat your fans like that? Like, they came for you, man. First you smoke them out so they can't see your ass. Yeah, and it, it, I mean, we're still dealing with COVID. I mean, I'm sure everybody was just coughing their heads off at this point, choking us. They can't get right, Kanye. They can't get right. Hey, you playing somebody else's song, too. <laughs> like, I'm going to play your song on my set. Yeah, fucked up. All right, now, finally, are we going to get around with some real shit? No. Hey. Uh, yeah, free, uh, free Hoover. By the way, Hoover's not free. Just and you putting can it out there again. Barely read that shit with all this smoke, bro. 70,000 people. Not one of them could see Kanye. Oh, they've already been left, though. All right, so we, we definitely can rock with this shit. But to make people wait a, a damn half an hour to finally get into something, anything of substance, like... I just think that's a shitty thing to do to 70,000 people yeah. and the millions watching on the live stream when this ha when this happened, or to go back on Amazon Prime and watch this. What if this was live stream? It was. When oh. it debuted, it was live stream. What about those boots, bro? Mega Man. <laughs> He's got the Mega Man outfit. The, the, don't be fooled. Those aren't gloves. Those are blaster cannons on his hand. Hey, you be Mega Man? West or <laughs> Mega Man West. Mega West. 
there's some there's some video game bosses lurking. That's that's we're gonna skip ahead. But a lot of this set was just Kanye going through different levels, blasting for. <laughs> Boom. It's either that or Shaquille O'Neal was actually an opening act, and Kanye's like, I like those boots. Give me those boots. <laughs> those boots are too much, bro. I can't stop staring at the boots. The fuck? I think the boots were there so people can actually tell that's him. It's like, I know Kanye's not that tall, but those boots look like somebody who's like nine foot six. So. <laughs> Ah, it's because he's full of shit, and he doesn't want to step in shit. Could be the case. Hungry? Thirsty? The refreshment stand is open, with everything to satisfy your taste buds. Here's the menu. The hottest, freshest, crunchiest popcorn. Each kernel popped to its fullest with that real movie time taste. Cold drinks. You'll find your favorite ice cold, tasty, and thirst quenching. And hot dogs, hamburgers, and candy, too. Now a short intermission, so you'll have time to make your selection before the show begins. All right, so what's going on here, Cody? So Kanye, he's wrapping up his portion, his first segment of the set, with one of his classics, Runaway. And, you know, he, he just gets a little bit off course towards the end. You know, Kanye's been dealing with a lot of a lot of personal shit and legal he's always in some legal shit that's nothing new to him but so if you're gonna get let, let, me, let me ask you guys if if you ever got 70,000 of your fans in one venue would you we were talking about the last episode the emotional ballads the airing it all out if you're gonna be doing the sad singing are you just kind of putting it out there or do you want to aim specifically at one person and say this is what I'm thinking right here, right now it's not about the 70,000 people around me it's about you I'm going to cry over you and in Kanye West's case it's the you is Kim Kardashian <laughs> so what I'm asking you, would you what would you sink down to this level for Kim Kardashian in front of seventy thousand people in the flesh oh. and millions watching at home? I think he just sad because he lost some money, bro. Well, Kanye is known for taking things way beyond the level it should be, and he's taking <laughs> he's taking the saddest fucking songs. And taking it to another level, as Kanye West does. So, but he doesn't even sound good doing it, though. But he's like, oh, fuck. Kim, bring him. Come back. She's with Pete Davidson, bro. She's not coming back. She left with your money, bro. <laughs> she got what she was looking for. She is gone, buddy. Oh. Hey, he pretty much traded money for ass, bro. Damn. Kimberly. So. Damn. Kimberly. Does Kimberly come back to Kanye to be determined, to be seen? But I think just, just, just to wrap that up, I mean, there's sad motherfuckers. There's sad motherfuckers. And then, you know, there's those modern new school rappers we're talking about that have their emotional songs. And Kanye West, he's way the fuck down here. He is way under all that shit. Kimberly. Kimberly. <laughs> like, come on, man. Hey, look at Drake. Drake finally showed up. Welcome back. <laughs> well, no, fuck? not welcome back to the stage. Welcome to the stage, Drake. Where, where are we? We're, we're an hour and ten minutes into this. And for the first time, Drake is allowed to grace the stage. Like, like Kanye. Kanye's just really... This is supposed to be a joint concert. He's like, nah, fuck that. He ain't stepping on until at least 70 minutes in. Fuck all that. Hey, what about their hoodies, bro? They're all like cut off at the bottom or something. That, bro. That. <laughs> Are they bringing the 80s back where they had like all the shirts cut off at the belly? Cut off. Pretty close, bro. It, it, 
you gotta you gotta sport the Mega Man, Man look however this you can. <laughs> Alright, so look at all that smoke, bro. You can't even see them. Still, damn. That has to be a health issue. I got a question. What the fuck is Drake doing up there? Is it? So I didn't catch the live stream. I'm bringing this to you guys because, you know, I wanted you to just revel in it. I know Filthy, for a fact, cannot stand Kanye or Drake. I can't stand both these guys, but it's hard for me to be a hater against them because I don't know what I just hate. Hey, hey, hey. But just, just a little background on, you know, I, I was watching the live stream through the eyes of Twitter, and I saw everybody just dogging Drake for his set list. Like, man, who the fuck picked these songs? Did he lose a bet? Like, what the fuck's <laughs> going on here? Because Kanye was just, and I'll give props to Kanye. His The first hour when it was just him, he held it down. He, he really knocked it out of the park. But then they get to the Drake part, and everybody was hating on it. Because Kanye was all the hits. Drake was doing who the fuck knows. Look at, they're gone right now. So, on the YouTube version, you can get... You can get to the Drake portion, but when I watched it, when I went into Amazon Prime to watch all of this, it's just, it's clearly marked Kanye West and Drake, Larry Hoover benefit concert, but it went... He's not even saying anything, bro. It went, can't tell me nothing, and Drake was on stage. He doesn't say anything and can't tell me nothing. And the funniest part, it just went forward to the last part of Kanye West's set. It cut out all of Drake's portion of the concert. This is on YouTube. It's not on the Amazon Prime version. I would. Amazon wasn't paying for that shit. <laughs> it's like, no. I'm telling you, Kanye's Drake's biggest hater is like, no, just cut his set. Just cut it out. I wouldn't even. Why would you even watch this for money? You're not watching it for Drake, I know that much. I hope he gets choked out with that smoke, bro. <laughs> uh, definitely want my money back. Yeah. I'm sorry to say, I want my money back. Jeff Bezos, you need to give us a month of our month off of our Amazon Prime accounts, because this is this is a trap. Stance. Look, you can't even see it. So if you paid to watch it, you ain't even watching nothing. Yeah, you just watch the smoke. Just turn the lights down, pump it up with smoke. We're done. <laughs> I can make a video with nothing but smoke on it. <laughs> it's bad enough just to hear Drake. We don't need to see him. Come on. Yeah. Hello there. What is life like as a stomach? Oh, boy. It was humdrum. I mean, until what's his name discovered Tony's Pizza. Tony's Pizza? Yeah, I was suffering from the pizza cravings until Tony's came along. Crispy crusts and zesty sauces. <laughs> wow. And so now... What's that? Another pizza craving. Just thinking about Tony sets it off. Oh, wh where are you going? He's going to get a Tony's pizza. And I follow him anyway. Does your stomach send you pizza craving signals? <laughs> oh, wow. Tony's, the pizza craver's pizza. Available at the concession stand. He switches the jackets. What are you doing? He took off the free hoop. Because even votes. even Kanye at some point Kanye realized that the jig is up. This isn't about Larry Hoover. <laughs> That's a Back to the Future jacket right there. I didn't even see that. <laughs> it's a Back to the Future jacket. All right, speaking of Back to the Future, we're going back to the past. So they, they're closing this shit out with the only song they're both on. A classic. Using that term lightly. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, Drake's fucking it up. Alright, this is panic for Drake. Do I remember these lyrics? Lean on the crowd, Drake. Lean on the crowd. Like, minimal effort for all the money that was spent on them, probably. Oh, check out the camera, man. Can, does he have any idea where he is? <laughs> no, too much smoke is probably getting him disoriented after two hours, bro. Motherfucker's getting dizzy. He's got one of those big smoke masks face on. He's <laughs> walking around stage. 
It's like an episode of Rest of the Dome, just all over the place. <laughs> oh, he forgot his lyrics for sure, bro. Is, they're not even making it sound good. Hey, look at the smoke again, bro. I can't even see shit, bro. He's reaching out to Kanye. You're my safety. I don't want to walk off the stage. Hold on to me. Where are you? But he is screaming like filthy, used to on stage, screaming at the top of his lungs. Oh yeah, blowing out the microphone. That's <laughs> that's the panic. Panic sets in. Filthy Smalls used to do that on stage, by the way. It was funny. Maximum sound level, homie. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't watch this for two hours. Oh dude, I would have shut it off. Like I can't do it. Thank goodness that the hours on a two hour or the. Word is not a two-hour episode. Oh, yeah, we weren't gonna we weren't gonna torture ourselves watching this whole thing. I'm being tortured right now. My brain hurts, bro. Speaking of brain hurts, you you know how it is when the music kicks in. It's like, oh fuck. Do I remember this song? Oh, then there's this, then there's that. It did, I bet Kanye seriously did not. He has not heard this song since it was released. Since he dropped it, he forgot about it. <laughs> Fuck Drake, that's why. He pulled Robbie D. Yeah, Robbie Robbie with no girl. love. <laughs> Man, so we gotta make sure that the baggy vocals are on is this it? one, because I am not remembering this shit. It's a decent song, but they're making it sound like garbage, bro. Okay, oh, he, he ran out of gas at the end, bro. Yeah, they're, they're having big time regrets about the two hour set. So two hours of smoke in their face. Well, like an hour and a half because they didn't do shit for a half hour. We're going to set. I hope by the time that this episode of The Word drops that Kanye and Drake are out of the ICU. <laughs> Smoking inhalation. Real. Kimberly. Kimberly. <laughs> hey, hey, let us know in the comments. Is Kimberly coming back to Kanye? Let us know. Yeah, let us know. Let us know whatever you think about this. Hey, I hate. I pretty much hated this all the way through. To be honest with you. Hey, it's the it's the haters club. That's what we do. I'm not. I'm not feeling this shit. I'm so happy I didn't pay for it. They're gonna trying to say that. Trying to say who's gonna get the last word. <laughs> For real. Cut his mic. Cut his mic. <laughs> Forever, man. Forever, man. <laughs> like a di- diva sing-off. They just keep shooting that look over at each other. It's like, no, 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 no. So he puts his arm around him. Don't you ever fucking do that again. Be like, don't touch me, fool. <laughs> Can't even see him again. Look at they're going all slow. Like, I don't want to fall down. <laughs> <laughs> just tiptoe off the stage. <laughs> Oh, Those fuck. boots, though. Yup. Somebody got a flashlight for him. Be my safety. Be my safety. I got to step over this, this board here. Oh, <laughs> man. All right. All right. That's... that's All I, right. You do the honors just, on that one, Robbie stop D. Oh, just cut. Let's, let's, cut. Okay. A little goes a long way with those guys, but man... Oh, oh that, was, that was a torture. I'm glad we didn't have to watch it for two hours, but hopefully, what, that Hoover guy's free or? No, Larry Hoover's still in jail, man. So mission not completed, I guess. No. Kimberly. Oh, yeah, Kimberly. It, this, is a, this is a triple fail. This is a triple <laughs> fail for these guys on this one. Oh. Larry Hoover's still locked up. Yep. Uh, Pete Davidson still still ho- holding it down with Kim Kardashian. Yep. Or he, they, he got or, her. At, as of this recording, I mean. By the time this episode of the word drops, who knows? Yeah, a couple of weeks makes a difference. But the the biggest the biggest fail of all. I mean, they had the biggest biggest stadium in Los Angeles. Full of people. <laughs> that, that couldn't see them. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. They could have used that. Out. We could have did a way better show, bro. I would have did it for free, bro. I'd still use the smoke though. <laughs> <laughs> I can see where it's enticing, but that's too that's much smoke. There's so if, <coughs> if I bought this online and I was watching him, like I can't even see what I paid for because there's so much smoke. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna have to smoke this one out. 
Let it breathe. Let us know in the comments. Does anybody hate on this as much as we do? Or do, is there a little bit of pushback? Because like, like I said, that, that first hour of the set, Kanye West, you really, you really held it down. Just <laughs> you hit a certain point with those guys and things just go off the rails. Uh, and last but not least, the flying saucer stage or the egg, the eyeball, whatever we're calling it. We're going to call it the dance floor to give a good segue to late night deep cut. Yeah. Like I said before, big, big deep cut unearthed on this episode. I didn't know they could cut it this deep. Oh, this is the, cut them deep, cut them deep. This is wax a million. Wax a million. No panties on the dance floor. Here we go. Uh-oh. This is a show I like for Drake and Kanye. <laughs> this is just an old video too. Huh? <laughs> all that, all that video. <laughs> They're not even hitting the beat. Uh, I love the white girl in, in the front of him. He's just trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> and they both don't look happy, bro. <laughs> that was just the vibe back in the days, you know. Now <laughs> they pull up. This, this motherfucker is in Nelly. <laughs> Why am I in this video? Got no panties on, on, on the, the dance floor. floor. I ain't got no panties on. Ooh. I ain't got no panties yes, on. I ain't got no panties on, hey. on the dance floor. I just want to point out that all, all these chicks have panties on. Panties <laughs> like, I'm just throwing it out the there. Dance floor. They fucked up. That's why Maximilian's so mad. He's he's telling them to pull their panties off. They're not doing it. Hey, they were just chilling. Like, let's make this kind of song, bro. Doesn't even rap that much on it. Oh, that BT. <laughs> it definitely does say BT in there, so they couldn't probably make that raw of a video. Huh? Yeah, this, this is a direct rip from BT on cut. <laughs> this is this is exactly as advertised by us on the word. The verses are not that good compared to the hook, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fixing to remix this, bro. <laughs> Let me know if you want to see me remix this song. I ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no panties on. Hey, that's just catchy. I'm going to be saying it forever now. <laughs> I don't know why, but this is fucking funny. I ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no panties on. I ain't got no panties on. On the dance floor. They're trying not to laugh right there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on the dance floor. Put them panties off. Put them panties off. Put them panties off on the dance floor. Hey! Put them panties off. Put them panties off on the dance floor. Hey, this is. The video could be just four minutes of this, and we would love it. Hey, oh, man. You're gonna take the verses out and just play the hook. Telling you. Imagine being 13 years old. 12 o'clock at night, this pops up on there. Yeah. Oh, this week. <laughs> oh, Wax a Million getting it in with this. Pull them panties up on the dance floor. Pull them panties up. Pull them panties up. Pull them panties up on the dance floor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. That was dope. That's ultimate. that's, that's dope. a triple. That's dope on that one. Oh my ultimate, god! Ultimate, ultimate uh, uncut. I'm gonna have to put that one on the playlist for sure. That turned, <laughs> oh. I just get turned up for the, on that song for some oh, reason, bro. Bumping that shit. So when the word debuted, oh. when the word debuted, somebody got mad at Robbie, uh, Mighty Casey, White Girls. I can't believe you got that song stuck in my head. <laughs> everybody's going to... The, the next day after this episode drops, everybody's going to be out on the street saying, I ain't got no panties on. Put oh. their panties off. 
on the dance, dance floor. floor. Oh man, I mean, what what else can be said? Oh. That's the ultimate right there. I mean, th- this is what we live for. This, this, is, this is what this it, is what the word is all about. This one going on the playlist for sure. Oh yeah, <laughs> on the dance floor. So we we gotta wrap this up because we're gonna we're gonna hit stop recording on this and we're gonna watch that video again. Facts. <laughs> Thanks again. Please give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more classics. Please like do. Please wax do. a million. No panties <laughs> on the dance floor. Please let us know if if you have another on another gem to be unearthed by us on late night deep cut. Let us know. Once again, the word. Thanks for tuning in. We out. <laughs>